In the enchanting land of New Orleans, where jazz melodies danced on the air and tales of magic were woven into everyday life, lived a woman named Louisa Teich. Louisa's heart beat to the rhythm of the city, and her spirit was as vibrant as the Mardi Gras parades. One warm evening, as the sun painted the sky in hues of orange and pink, Louisa sat under the swaying branches of an ancient oak tree. With a twinkle in her eye, she began to share a story from her book, Jambalaya. In a time long ago, when the world was still young, there lived a young girl named Amara, Louisa began, her voice as melodious as the bayou. Amara possessed a special gift, a connection to the spirits of the land and the water. As the tale unfolded, the listeners found themselves drawn into Amara's world. They followed her as she journeyed through the lush bayous and danced with fireflies beneath the full moon. But there was a darkness lurking, for an ancient curse had fallen upon the land, stealing the voices of the creatures and casting a shadow over the once bustling village. Amara's determination grew, and she embarked on a quest to break the curse. Guided by the wisdom of the spirits, she encountered magical creatures and faced daunting trials. With each challenge, the suspense deepened, leaving the listeners on the edge of their seats. Louise's words wove a spell of their own, transporting her audience into a world where magic and reality intertwined. They could almost hear the whispers of the wind and the rustling of the leaves as Amara's journey reached its climax. With a triumphant smile, Louisa concluded, and so, with courage in her heart and the support of the spirits, Amara lifted the curse, restoring the land to its former glory. Um. As the story ended, the spell was broken, and the listeners returned to the present their hearts filled with wonder and inspiration. Louisa Teich had shared not just a tale, but a glimpse into the enchanting tapestry of New Orleans, where stories and magic were as real as the air they breathed.